This right here is a Gen 4 Glock 19 in 9mm. Uh, this trigger standard uh, using a medium size back strap with the beaver tail. The weapon light is a Surefire XC1 weapon light and it produces 200 lumens. It runs on one single AAA battery. You see the battery compartment right here. The little paddles on the side. This is for momentary on. And for constant on, the button right here on the left keeps it on. If you want to deactivate the light, press the button on the right. Runtime is one hour, and uh, yes, it is overpriced if you ask me, but trust me, you'll get your money's worth from this, this light. Very good light. Surefire XC1, guys. We're going to go ahead and move on to the night sights. The night sights from Trijicon. These are Trijicon's HD night sights. If you notice, it's got the little orange ring right there. It's a photoluminescent orange. And it's a glow-in-the-dark. You could charge it with a flashlight, or if you're out there shooting, the sunlight would charge it for you. But it's a very bright orange dot. It's got three tritium vials. And if you notice the back, it's got the little serrated surface right there. That's to eliminate glare. And you got the U-notch right there. Pretty good sight picture right there, guys. I love how this thing is tall, so you know if you uh, if you're injured and you need to rack your slide, you can rack it against your your belt, holster, or any flat surface like a table. But that right there, guys, is my handgun setup. Plain and simple, but all business. Glock 19. Okay, on to the rig. This right here is a T-Rex arm sidecar appendix rig. It's in a beautiful Cryptic Neptune blue. Very nice looking holster. And I got the light gray back. Comes with a Raptor claw. If you request it, of course. And what this does, this pushes the holster, the rig into your body. So it won't bulge out. You have the adjustable clips right here for a different height. And if you want to tuck your shirt in, you can put it right here, right in the back of the clips. Very comfortable rig, and you can see how it's bent right here, so it goes to the contour of your body. And you got a tension screw right there to tighten up just a little bit. And of course, if you guys have been wondering where my Glock 30 is, if I do still carry it, yes, I still carry it, and I carry it in the same rig. And this right here is in dark gray with the orange back, same configuration. So if you get a chance to get one of these, get one. I'm still getting used to carrying appendix, but I'll tell you what, it's very comfortable. And I do carry hip from time to time, but this could be my main carry right here. Next is a Benchmade Contego. Contego means to protect, to shield. This right here is a Osborne design. It's a CPM M4 steel, reverse tanto blade, and this is an ambidextrous design. Blade length is 3.98. Overall length is 9.28 inches. It's got the serration right here. The end, beautifully carved G10 handle. Got jimping. In the finger choils, spine, and of course the tail. If you look at the axis lock, it's supposed to withstand 700 pounds of pressure beautifully designed knife. My favorite knife. And if you look right here, it's got the carbide tip to break glass or skulls, depending on your choice. <laughs> this right here, guys, is a Benchmade Contego. The flashlight is a Surefire 6P Defender. Added the rave consumer system clip and ring. So when it's in your pants and you want to deploy the flashlight, you just run your finger through the O-ring, 
and it deploys nice and easy. It's got a serrated striking surface right here. With the new bulb, it is 650 lumens. Surefire 6P Defender, guys. Awesome flashlight. I do carry a trauma kit in the car, but when I'm carrying conceal, I carry these two. And in my front pocket, I carry the cat tourniquet with a mini Sharpie. Back pocket is the SL Tech medical pouch. It's about the size of a wallet, but it's a little thicker because I have a compression bandage in there. So let me go ahead and show you my contents in here. Got some mini shears, natural gloves. Here's a mini compression bandage from H and H. Frog tape. Cellox hemostatic agent. And of course, clotting sponge. That's what I carry on me when I carry conceal. And this should be good enough to patch me up until medical help arrive. And I can't forget my keys, wallet, and cell phone. So that right there completes my EDC.